This video was sponsored by Sweetwater. Hey guys, so I'm super excited for today's video. And the reason why is because I've got a box here in front of me from Sweetwater that I'm gonna be busting into and checking out some new gear that is inside momentarily here. But before I get to that, I wanted to talk to you guys and answer some of the questions that I've been getting over the last, I guess, two to three months now. Those questions all come from the same place, which is why for the better part of the last six years, you've been playing TRX cymbals. You have been a TRX endorsed artist and representing that company. Why is it that you decided to switch and move away from them? And why are we seeing other cymbals at the kit? It really comes down to a cost analysis that I had done done on where my gear's at and where I want to get to. And I realized that the amount of money I was spending on TRX cymbals every time one cracked to replace it, even though I was getting a discounted rate to purchase those cymbals, the amount of money that I was spending was still far more than if I was purchasing cymbals retail from a different company and just using their warranty. Now, TRX doesn't have the most forgiving warranty. It was very difficult in the times that I did crack cymbals to get them to replace it. I had to send multiple pictures from different angles to even prove to them that the cymbal wasn't damaged by me intentionally things along those lines. It was very difficult, very difficult dealing with their customer support to get symbols replaced at the odd time that they would actually agree to replace the symbol. But in the case of Mino so far, I've broken three Chinas and I have not paid for any of the replacements. But right away, right out the gate, like that's an example of, I'm super stoked I made the uh, switch. Even though it's costing me more upfront to pay for the symbols, the warranty in the long run really has made a big difference to me. So that's really what it comes down to. Now, the second reason is I switched off T-Rex and I switched to Mino. So why did you go to Minel. The reason I went to Minel was two things. I was recommended by you guys to go to Minel because of their warranty, at least you guys on my social medias. And uh, when I asked the question, a lot of you just said, check out Minel. They have a fantastic customer support team. Their symbols are awesome, blah, blah, blah. I checked it out and that seems to be the case so far. The other reason was when I looked at all of the artists that I really, really follow and aspire to be like and sort of influence me, guys like Adam Bjork, guys like uh, Alex Rudinger, Anoop Sastry, Luke Holland. I mean, for God's sakes, Thomas Lang, one of my, one of my all time favorite favorite drummers. I don't sit down at the kit unless I'm playing Thomas Lang's signature series sticks. So like, you know, all these guys, they're on Minel cymbals. So there must be something going on here that's so special to bring such a fantastic roster in. I mean, even artists like Annika Niles, Jared from Fit for a King, Gabe from I Prevail, all these guys, the guys that I talked to in uh, in the line checks, they all are on Minel. So that's why I decided to give them a try and I'm super stoked on it. Now, I am not endorsed by Minel yet. I'm still making the switch over to having a full kit of Minel and I wanted to sort of at least have most of my kit Minel symbols before I reach out to them with a sort of relationship opportunity and chat with them about working together in the future. And in order to replace all of my TRX symbols as they crack, I've been purchasing my gear from the company that I purchased just about all my gear from anyways, which is uh, Sweetwater. Sweetwater is proudly sponsoring this video and I couldn't be more thrilled on that fact. And the reason why is because of all of these sort of sponsorships or endorsements that I've taken on over the years, this one was the biggest no brainer. When they hit me up, they wanted to know if I had already shopped there and I literally was waiting on orders to come in when their PR department hit me up. So it just made so much sense. Like, yes, of course I've shopped there. Of course, most of my gear is from there. It's the best place for me to get audio equipment. The reason why it's the best place for me to get audio equipment and probably for you too is just because it's the cheapest and they have better customer service than any of the other distributors by far. Their financing programs are simple to understand and really have made a huge difference to me. I mean, my, both of my electric kits, the TD-15 and the TD-25, K, I financed through Sweetwater so I could actually get practice in because I can't always play the acoustic drums where I'm at. I get noise complaints different times of day. I mean, if you've seen my 2 a.m. video, you understand what the better part of 2018 looked like and getting up at 2 a.m., doing a workout and then sitting down at the kit, if it was an acoustic kit, no way that would have worked out, especially with the neighbors and everything that goes on here. But thankfully, I've had those two electric kits in my life and that was only made possible because of how great Sweetwater's financing is with low, super low interest rates, if not at all if you can pay it off in time before you hit sort of uh, the deadline on those interest rates. It's just, just fantastic. Now, having said all that, I really hope that clears up all the questions I've been getting around my symbols. And uh, let's get into checking out the two new symbols that I'll be adding. So if you are not familiar with Sweetwater unboxings, every Sweetwater box comes with one of these guys. This is just their catalog, of course, no big deal there.
This is a 20 inch Byzance Equilibrium China. This is the first vented symbol that I have ever owned. And I am super excited to get this on the kit for my next cover, which is dropping later this week. So you won't have to wait too long to hear what this guy sounds like. This is a 21 inch polyphonic ride, Byzance polyphonic ride. This guy was recommended to me in the, uh, in the episode of Line Check where I sat down with Gabe from I Prevail. He's using this currently on tour with I Prevail and I needed it because I wanted a ride symbol, but I also wanted something that can really act as a crash. I mean, because let's be real, there's only so many options of black tee and black bottom that I can wear on this channel. <laughs> This one's kind of cool, baseball tee looking thing here. There we go. And of course, you cannot forget about Sweetwater Candy. I'm not a big sweet guy, so I'm gonna put this aside for Lindsay because if I don't put it aside for her, she's gonna bite my head off. <laughs> so there are the two new guys on the right here or on your left, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I have the 20-inch uh, the Equilibrium. And then on your right, I have the 20, uh, sorry, 20-inch Equilibrium, 21-inch Polyphonic Ride. They call it a ride, but I've been told that it's really more of a crash ride. It has zones, essentially, is what they describe it as. Like the outside here is very crashable. The uh, the mid zone before the bell is has like a very distinct ping to it, so it works better as a ride symbol. And then this bell, or at least from what Gabe told me, is super chunky um, and really, really, works as a bell onto itself, which I have not had since I picked up this guy. This has been the crash ride that I've been using over the last couple covers. I think we've done four videos now with this guy as my center symbol. This is uh, the Byzance 20 inch dual crash ride. I actually was very surprised when I got this symbol. I didn't think it was gonna sound like what it sounded like. And the first couple covers, I found it difficult because I had never recorded a symbol with such character. I've sort of figured out how to EQ this and how to mic it. And now that I really have like how to record this dialed in. I absolutely love this symbol. It's something that has expanded my vocabulary because I'm thinking of new ways to use this essentially. It's not your typical just like brilliant A custom of course. I mean the dual series is nothing like that. As you know from my videos you can tell. I mean the first video I did with this I think I did kind of a poor job recording the symbol itself and a lot of you were like okay what's up with your crash ride? It sounds like a China but uh, it's it definitely has come a bit in the last couple covers uh, with trial and error and I'm really really stoked at the sound that I get out of this guy. The other thing too is I'm really surprised at how well it has held up because I mean I do punish that symbol. This guy though, the other minor that I have at the kit, this is a Byzance uh, 19 inch medium thin crash. I love this symbol. I'm a little bit gentler on it because of where it falls on the kit. Um, because it's up higher, I'm not sort of coming down on it just as hard. Um, but yeah, I mean this crash is, is an explosion. That's how I would describe it. I mean you've heard at least these two last symbols in the last couple covers and in my uh, cover dropping later this week you will hear both the equilibrium china and you will hear that new polyphonic ride for sure i can't wait to get that video together for you guys all right, so that's really been it for this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed my explanation on why I switched off TRX, why I'm uh, now sort of pursuing Mino in the future, um, how amazing Sweetwater has been with me over the years. And uh, of course, you got to see some of the new symbols that I will be, uh, that I'll be featuring in my next cover. So you have that to look forward to before this week is up. I will have that up for sure. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you wanna support the channel, you can find my Patreon link and my merch link in the description below. If you wanna pick up any of the products you saw in this video, you can find links uh, to those products in the description below. If you want to connect with me further, you can find social media links on both the screen for you right now, as well as in the description below. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you all very soon with something new.